So here's one of my favorite movies that I own. This is the Mummy's Collector Set. It comes with all three movies, The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, and The Scorpion King. And I remember The Scorpion King having a really good soundtrack. The first one when it came out, I remember watching it constantly and just repeating every line in the movie. Um, I could also do that with The Mummy Returns. The third one, not so much. Now that I'm thinking about it, probably I can quote the lines from The Scorpion King too. I just have to know the scene and, and what's happening in the movie. Thank God they stopped here because I don't want to pick up the fourth movie. We all know what happens in that one, so it's awful. Thank God I just have this one because this is all I want. Alright, so now we're coming to the middle of this set right here. This is the Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. This one plays on the idea of the Crystal Skull and the knowledge that is gained from this skull and the fantasy aspect of it. I personally don't care for this movie. I care for the other ones, which I still need to get. I actually want it in the, in the collector's set so I don't have to buy every single one. It's an okay movie. It's a little bit entertaining. It's not great, but especially with Shia LaBeouf in it, yeah. But Harrison Ford, always good. So here's the next one. This is Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. These two people get hired to kill witches. And it's kind of based on the childhood story of Hansel and Gretel, just a little bit different. They kill witches this time. The witch that they go to hunt this one time in the movie, I'm not kidding you, when I saw in the theater, I swear that it was Danny Filth from Cradle of Filth, the vampire looking guys from that crazy band. And I thought it was really hilarious throughout the whole movie. And then when they actually killed him I was like oh man they killed them <laughs> so sorry for any spoilers right there but this one's a real short movie it's still good but some people don't like it just because it is kind of short but oh well okay so if you've watched my videos before you've already seen this one this is the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and the only reason why I bought this movie is for Stuart Townsend. He actually is featured on the far right side of the movie right there. He's kind of in the shadow and he's actually from The Queen of the Dam, which I first saw that movie and decided I should get this one. And then I had seen this movie on TV and I really liked it. It actually got mixed reviews. It tells a couple different stories, but I think it's it's one of those movies that just it goes with the storyline and it's kind of slow, but I liked it personally so I don't know what everybody else thinks it's a bad movie but I think we have to broaden our minds and to open up to things that are actually um, good that we remember and this was one of them and this features Sean Connery of all people it's a really really good movie if you pay attention and and you've seen uh, what it took to make this movie and they do feature that in the special features. So if you watch that and you know how films are made I think you'll appreciate this movie a lot more all right, so here's one of the very few movies that I own from James Franco. This is actually the second movie I own from him. This one's Pineapple Express. It's the unrated edition. I remember the first time watching this at a friend's house. I laughed so hard. My stomach literally hurt so bad from laughing. But this is probably one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. This is from the guys who brought you super bad. So if you know James Franco and Seth Rogen, when you put them together, they just do stupid things. This movie is hilarious. I've never seen so many funny things happen in a movie. I do enjoy this movie and I see it like over and over and over again and I can still enjoy it. So this is a funny movie if you just want to laugh. You're like stomach silly. So this is The Freedom Riders with Hilary Swank. It tells the story of a couple of kids who come from bad backgrounds and Hilary's character brings them up in, in the school and she's their their teacher and she cares so much for them she unites them coming from all kinds of different backgrounds they all come together and unite as as one and they do something so good that it makes them feel good inside and she has them relate to um, Anne Frank of all people to show that, um, you know what, uh, Anne Frank was your guys' age. You know, she struggled. She got shot at. All this bad stuff happened to her. They saw somebody else who lived like them. So they ask her, like, oh, what are you trying to say? You know, Anne Frank got killed. So what does that say for us? Well, she tells them that really depends on you and how you want to live your life. Like, don't make her an excuse, uh, Hilary Swank's character, that they can't do something in life because when they put their mind to it, they can do it. They overcame a lot of obstacles in their life. And so this movie kind of speaks to me because 
like not that I came from that kind of thing. It's just that I like um, empowering movies and this is one of the great ones. Great movie if you're like that. All right, so here's another one that's opposite what I just showed you. Um, this is Bad Teacher. This is with Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake, and Jason Segal. This is the unrated edition. This is another funny movie. It's about Cameron Diaz's character who gets herself in trouble, but then she tries to cover it and blames other people for it. Um, there is some funny parts in this movie, and um, I don't want to ruin too much, but it is a really good movie, and we hadn't seen her sin since, like, probably the mask. If you're into school things and and laughing and you know cracking stupid jokes this one's for you. It's just it's one of those movies that, that you can put it on and just laugh. Alright so here's one of my Jack Nicholson films and Adam Sandler. This is Anger Management. I like putting this on sometimes just to laugh at stupid things. I guess I'm a fan of fantasy, comedy, and other things but Sometimes you just need one of those movies to laugh. I love Jack Nicholson's work, so uh, that's why I have this movie. There's a lot of funny lines in this movie, so that's one of my favorites right here. Here's Rush Hour. This is the first movie. This is one that I bought first, and then I saw the other ones online that had the split, which you'll see coming up. So this is movie one. So here's part one and two. It's just Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker having a good time and trying to save the little girl always a little girl <laughs> but um yeah chris tucker does some crazy stuff in this movie and uh, each of the movies it, it's just one of those movies that, that you can put on and you know you just want to watch a good movie this one's a good one to watch so uh, rush hour is on one side and rush hour two is on the other side and here's part three I think this one's probably my favorite. This is the one where um, Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan are on top of the tower right there and they kind of parachute down with like this big like flag and then like it turns into a a banner of sort. I can't remember exactly what it is but um, they're flying down and they're being shot at. Chris Tucker like flips out. He's like, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And he's freaking out. He's freaking out. And so they finally hit this pond that's like way below them and he realizes that he didn't die. But it's just one of those funny movies. This is still my favorite one though. Alright, so here's my last Jackie Chan film. This one is also with Owen Wilson and Lucy Liu. I hadn't seen this one since I had it like a long time ago. This one is Shanghai Noon. I got it from a friend. Um, a while back and that's why I have it now so I have my own copy I can't remember too much of what it's about I know it's a funny movie and they kind of like played tricks on each other and it's just a